own a pub and people like to chat over a drink. Nothing's provoked more discussion than MPs' expenses. Given the recent scandals involving all parties, how are you intending to re-establish the credibility of MPs in the eyes of the electorate? Mr Clegg. Well, I don't think that um, any politician deserves your trust, and you talked about credibility, credibility, deserves any credibility, until everybody has come clean about what has gone wrong. Now, there have been some changes to the rules and all that, and, you know, the changes to the expenses rules. But, you know, there are still people who haven't taken full responsibility for some of the biggest abuses in the system. There are MPs who flipped one property to the next, buying properties paid by you, the taxpayer, and then they would do the properties up, paid for by you, and pocket the difference in personal profit. They got away scot-free. There are MPs who avoided paying capital gains tax. And, of course, you remember the, you know, the, what is it, the duck houses and all the rest of it. But, actually, it's the, it's the people, it's the MPs who made these big abuses, some of them profiting hundreds of thousands of pounds. I have to stress, not a single Liberal Democrat MP did either of those things, but they still haven't been dealt with. Uh, we can only turn around the corner on this until we're honest about what went, what went wrong in the first place.